this beaver here has been quite busy and it wants to take down this really, really rather huge tree. So someone uh, put a little wire fence around there because if it fell, oh boy. Um, anyway, make a nice bridge, I suppose, depending on which way it fell. But yes, those uh, beavers cause a lot of uh, chaos. Billy, would you uh, like to give an update on your condition? No? I'll well, just give him a few words. i just just wondering how you're doing. No? Oh, okay, you refuse to refuse to comment? Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, so today uh, UPS dropped off my Sensi package. Uh, I did order some bars off there, bring back my bar sale, and I also got some uh, cleaners also. So I'll go over those, and uh, yeah, Millie, uh, she refused uh, to comment on her condition unless she had her lawyer present. Uh, so I'll just give you a little update on uh, how Mildred's doing. So she's about four and a, no, sorry, five and a half weeks out from her surgery on her ligament on her leg, and she's uh, doing quite well. Um, at her uh, two-week checkup, uh, they we're going to take the stitches out, but she had been rubbing her cone against the incision and they were worried about some infection. So we put her on another week of antibiotics. Our incision's all cl cleared up now. The cone's off. Um, at week three, her cone came off. Uh, we're up to about uh, two, uh, two or three 15 minute walks a day. Uh, so they're quite happy about that, both of them, because uh, Abigail was refusing to go out for walks uh, with me without uh, Mildred present. So uh, we're going out for about uh, two to three walks a day or just walking around the backyard. She still has to stay on the leash. So she's doing really quite well. So at eight weeks, we go back for a follow-up appointment with the vet and she gets an x-ray done at uh, the eight week point. And at that point, uh, they'll let us know uh, how much more activity um, can be increased in that. So it's still gonna be, uh, I think, uh, oh geez, to go out in the woods. Uh, she can go off leash at about 12 weeks, but going into the woods, we're talking much later. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, she's doing well. She's uh, she's much happier. I think she was getting pretty down there um, when uh, she could only go in the backyard. So uh, she's looking much, she's acting much happier anyhow. Okay, so I did get um, three uh, counter cleans uh, from Sensi. And I do really do like their counter cleans. They just smell fantastic and they do quite a good job. So I did uh, purchase another uh, very snowy spruce or what I like to say is very snowy Bruce. And I've had this in the past and it came back. Yay, because I was running out. I just have a little bit left. So luckily uh, that came back and I've already taken the packaging off, but of course it comes with its own little squirter here and yes uh jason momoa is officially single <laughs> so anyway um yes but i'm happily married so i'll let someone else uh work on him but anyway yes jason's single single now so yes this is a, a lovely evergreen scent and i did get uh winterberry apple tea which i've had in the melt and it is a really, really yummy berry scent. Uh, there's a little bit of tea. Uh, tea the tea is kind of in the background. You mostly get the berry. But oh, it's so nice to have this uh, come out in the, uh, the counter clean. And then I did get one more counter clean in Cloudberry Dreams. And uh, I really love this in the melt. And it's uh, a tart berry scent. Though it doesn't smell that tart, it smells more sweet in the, the counter clean compared to the, the melt. But yeah, very, very nice. I do like those uh, winter berry scents. Alrighty, and then uh, for the wax melts. Uh, so I did, I 
not all of them were from Bring Back My Bar. Some of them were kind of from the winter collection. So I'll start with a uh, cherry almond pie. And I love cherry almond scents. Um, uh, so this one's graham crackers, sweet almond cream, and uh, cherries. Oh, yeah. I, I just love cherry almond scents. I have it in, in body wash and shampoo and body scrubs. I just love the smell of cherry almonds. Oh, that's so good. Oh, man. Yes. Um, I thought I'd just sniff these before I decided to order any more, but yes, this was would be a definite uh, repurchase for me. Uh, and then I do love my evergreen scents. Uh, this is Icicles in Evergreen. I don't think I got the I don't think I got the notes on here on this particular sheet. Oh, if I can get it open. Oh yeah, this is very I, I, just, love, I just love evergreen scents. This has a little bit more woods mixed with it. It's not just straight up um evergreen. I get a like a kind of a woodsy vibe in there also. So yeah, just I, I, and I love mixing uh, evergreen scents with berry scents, winter berry scents, currant scents, red currants, and that sort of thing, or or um, or uh, mint scents. I like mixing with evergreen scents. And this one is casting spells, which is a bit bewitching blend of apple drizzle, roasted pears, and cinnamon bark. And I love the color of the wax. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, on the back I can get more of the the apple. But there is a definite sweetness in there. I really like that one. Apple drizzle. Yes, yeah, so I definitely get drizzle. The, the apple drizzle. Roasted pears and cinnamon. I don't know if I really get... It's not blatantly cinnamon. But it's a really sweet, sugary kind of apple scent. Oh, that one's kind of neat. I like that one. I don't know if I get cinnamon though. Maybe it'll come out when it's melting. I did get a couple of huckleberry scents. Uh, so the first one is huckleberry and clementine, uh, which is uh, huckleberry preserves, clementine, and a sprig of strawberry vine. And yeah, this is all has those little patterns on the back there. And I, I just love berry scents. There's just something about them. Oh, this one's tart. It's a tart berry. I do get a... I don't know if it's like... I don't get necessarily strawberry, but like the greenery. Like the vine on, on uh, fruits and that. I get a bit of a greenery scent. I don't think I get clementine. I get a berry scent along with some uh, kind of that sharp astringent kind of greenery scent to it, if that makes any sense. Um, and then this one is Huckleberry Sage, which is ruby, tart ruby cranberries and sweet purple huckleberries dusted with silver sage. And, well this one's totally different. Um, that one was like a sharp very greenery scent. Well, this one, this one's very soft. It's almost like a perfumey, soft, fruity scent. It's almost like I would wear this as a perfume, actually. It's not overly perfumey. It just adds a certain kind of sweetness to it. But it's very soft. Yeah, it's a soft, perfumey, berry scent. Okay, so far so good. Midnight uh, Fig is earthy ripened figs and golden berries tempered by musky woods will open your eyes and captivate your senses. Um, musky woods. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I'm going to have to smell the back. Oh, pop out. Oh, I love the color of the wax. Oh. Now this one's a little bit lighter on cold. 
oh I can yeah it's a very it's a it is a musky kind of fruit scent reminds me of a Yankee midnight blooms I think it is yeah there's a, a little it's veering kind of towards a little bit perfumey I get the berries and figs and then there's a musky perfumey kind of scent there to kind of tame down the the fruit oh I really like that one That'd be very nice in the in the bedroom. And then Black Forest Pine. I don't have the scent notes offhand, but I, again, uh, I just love any kind of evergreen scent. Ooh, I'm gonna pop out. Ooh, yeah, that's a rich, decadent kind of pine scent. Oh, I like that one. Oh, that is so good. So so yummy. Um, Spiced Ember Glow. I did get a couple of these. And I don't think I got the scent notes offhand on here. No, I don't. Um, I know I got so much trouble opening these up. Okay, I get cinnamon right off the bat. It's slightly red hot. I can see it softening up when it's melting. It's not overly red hot. I don't know if I get a, like a smokiness or not. I'll have to see when it's melting. I get more... Yeah, I get more of a... Um, kind of a tamed down red hot cinnamon. But yeah, I don't know if I, I get this, the smokiness or anything like that, but we'll, we'll see when it's melting. Uh, but I do, I do love cinnamon scents. Um, and then cashmere and corduroy. Uh, I don't think I have the scent notes here either. Oh, I love the color of the wax though. That deep rose. This is, I get kind of a perfumey scent right off the bat. It's, I think a, kind of that secondary base note is kind of like a laundry scent. And then there's like a very pretty perfumey note to it. But it's, oh, it's very relaxing though. It'd be great for the bedroom. And then Thunderstorm I've had in the past. And I really, really do like this one. Now this one... This is not cloney to me. This smells like a fresh greenery scent. Like in the springtime, all the flowers are blooming. And you get that, the actual, not the flower, but the stem. It has that greenery scent to it, but it's not overly astringent. But oh yeah, I, I really do like Thunderstorm. It's just clean and fresh and just, it's like fresh greenery, like you're walking into a greenhouse. And a little bit of wateriness in there. And then this one is Boho. Uh, a bohemian fragrance of clove studded winter uh, apples entwined with juicy black plums, candied mulberries, and cinnamon sticks. Clove studded. Wow. I didn't know since he was uh, into s and but... A little light. This one's a little bit light. I thought it would be stronger. I get, I don't know if it's straight up blueberry. It's, it's like a blueberry, blackberry, those kind of uh, scents. Cranberry, eh. Yeah, it definitely is a fruity scent. But I, I wouldn't say it's definitely clove. I just get like a uh, kind of a soft, fruity type scent. It's not tart or overly sugary or anything like that. It's just a an earthy kind of fruit scent, like all those blueberries and pomegranate and all that rolled up into one. But I don't get. I don't know if I get the clove or not at this point. And then the last one is pretty in plaid, and I've had this previously. I think I still actually have one package, but I really do like this one, and I don't have the scent notes offhand. 
Um, but this one is like an evergreen uh, winter berry combination, which I really, really like. And I've always had good luck with the throw on this one. It's uh, very strong, very long lasting. But yeah, I just get, um, oh, it's so good. It's, it's fresh, it's a greenery scent. It's not, it's not your typical evergreen scent. It's more like the, the leaves on a tree. Oh, it's just, and there's some berries in there. Like current, like red current. Oh, it's just I really do like pretty and plaid. Um, it's it's a great scent. So that's that's it. That's my Scentsy haul from Bring Back My Bar. And now that I've had a, a sniff of this, I um may have to go back and just uh, order some. I just wanted to try out a few just to see which ones I really do like. I think the the sale goes on till the end of January, so. Um, at some point, I will probably uh, do another order and get some uh, backups of these. But anyway, that's it. Um, yeah, there's uh, not a lot going on in my life. Uh, everyone knows, if you've watched my other video, that our fridge died. And we got a new one just before Christmas. And then uh, a few weeks ago, our oven died. Uh, the stove top is still working, but the oven dies. So Frank has uh, replaced a couple of things and it's starting to work better, but it's still not great. Uh, so he's going to replace yet another part. And then a few days ago, I did the laundry and the drain spin cycle wasn't working. Um, uh, the it, it would say the cycle was finished, but the door was locked and I couldn't get to the clothes. So after hitting a hundred buttons, I finally opened it up and the clothes were still wet. So the drain spin cycle wasn't working. Uh, I did another load yesterday and it finally got working again. So yeah, our appliances are like revolting on us. It's, it's just, oh, it's, it's frustrating, but anyway. Um, but, you know, appliances uh, just aren't made like they, they used to be. So, anyway, I hope everyone's doing great. Um, it's kind of the dead of winter here. And, um, yeah, I'm just uh, enjoying my uh, retirement. I'm uh, doing lots of reading and uh, getting back into shape now that the girls can go out for walks. And, uh, yeah, just enjoying my wax and... Uh, Toronto Raptors are playing tonight. Uh, they're doing great and uh, that's so that's what I'm going to be doing in about an hour is watching my lovely Toronto Raptors. So anyway, I hope everyone's doing well. Give your loved ones a hug and a kiss. I hope everyone's staying safe out there and um, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.